I um I had a really good day. <laughs> a very nice relaxing day. I know this world is chaotic and stuff, but when you guys when your your foundation is in God and you trust everything he do, he don't give you the spirit of fear. He gives you peace. Um, so that's why today was a wonderful day. But <laughs> here's something I want to share with you. It's in Jeremiah 10, verse 14 through 15. Everyone is shameless and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is shamed by his idol. The image he makes are a fraud. They have no breath in him. They are worthless, the objects of mockery. And I'm not saying this out of ignorance. I'm saying this because I had sage. I had crystals. I um had a crucifix, meaning I had a cross with a little body on it, you know, like symbolizing a death. Like power is not in his death. Power is when he rose again. When he said, destroy this temple and in three days I will rebuild it. Resurrection, come on. Um. Also going to another source for who you are. Like there's, um, you know, the zodiac signs where it tells you who you are, who you're supposed to be with and who's going to break your heart, what you're going to do this year and how much money you're going to make. Like those are fortune tellers. I used to live up, not live up to it, but I used to indulge in that. And that was my source. Like, I wonder what this person is doing. What is their zodiac? At a very young age, I've always knew, like, during the holidays, people were so fake. Like, they were rude. They was ignorant. They was trampling over each other just to get to an object. They... I don't know if I said greedy, but yeah, they were greedy. They were just ungrateful. All vanity. All. It was weird. It was weird to see people act that way. It's for them to lie to your kids. If you don't be good, Santa. What? The kingdom is truly at hand. When you read the word and you understand it, I was watching something on TikTok. They said, um, the reason why you don't hear God's voice is because you don't understand his language and his language is his word. And it's so true because the more I read, the more I get into certain situations, it's like the word come back to me. It's like, wow, thank you. <laughs> like, I need that. Like, thank you so much. I needed that. So, yeah. Get into your word, and then you'll know God for yourself. Like, it's personal. I mean, messed up. Stop playing. You think he about to really sit there and post up with you at the hospital? Oh, yeah. Go, go ahead and go in there and get that vaccine. I'm going to wait for you out here. I'm going to let the doctors do his... No, he's a healer. You post up with Jesus. Jesus is going to heal you. Get in his presence. Pills can't heal you. Everything that's demonic, all of this sage and crystals... So forth and so on, marijuana, alcohol, all of these vices, it's not going to heal you like God's presence. Wherever God is present, Satan can't stand it. Demons tremble at the name. He's God. He's not like man. He says, with man is impossible, but with me, all things are possible. He says, the moment you turn away from your sins and you face me, come to me, call to my name. He says, then I will hear you and I will heal your land. It's time for us to repent. It's time for us to run to our daddy. Because if you're not running to God, you're running to Satan. There is no in-between. Stop playing, man. Let's run to Jesus. Run to him. There's a story in the Bible about ten wives. Five were unwise. Five were wise. Wives. The ten wives. W-I-V-E-S. Um, were were out there um, waiting for the bridegroom, which is Jesus, right? So, um, the five wise wives, W-I-S-E, the wise ones had oil with them. And the unwise wives um, didn't have oil with them. 
so when it came for the bridegroom to come um the trumpet sounded like there was like um you know the bridegroom is here so that's when the unwise wives the one without the lamp with I mean, the oil with them was like let me get some of your oil and then the wise wives said no unless we run out so the word of god is that extra oil the word of god is that extra oil and the wise wives say go to where it's bought where is the word of god bought it's in false prophets where they they get a a portion of your money it's in um all these so-called healers with um staging and um all these astrologers and everything like he is the ultimate yeshua jesus the elohim the word the word you know like it says in his words like he is the healer he is the 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 prince of peace he is he is the resurrection like he is it that's all you need that's all you need and i get tired of hearing that story